Hello and welcome back. It's time to implement heap sort using C programming language. I have explained everything about heap by now in this section, starting from the definition and then we went on understanding how we can insert an element into the heap, how we can delete an element from the heap, how we can adjust a particular index and also I have explained how we can build a heap using the heapify operation from any arbitrary array. And then I explained the heap sort algorithm as well. I have described everything visually in the last few lectures in this section. If you are not comfortable with all those uh, heap operations, then you must get back to the previous lectures and understand them first before you can understand this heap sort implementation. Because whatever I have explained earlier is actually going to be required here to understand the implementation. This implementation is actually the direct uh, mapping of the algorithms that I have explained earlier with the programming language, right? So let's go ahead and understand the implementation now. So I'll first write the adjust operation because that's the biggest one. We need a variable j that should be actually assigned to the immediate left child of the index i. This adjust operation is going to adjust the index i and let's not forget that the heap is maintained at the left child of this index i that means at index 2i and also heap is maintained at uh, 2i plus 1 that means at right child of this index i so we need to adjust this index i heap is not maintained at this index i so this adjust operation is going to adjust that now i'm going to get the content of the index i from the heap array into this variable temp now we need to iterate we need to go on iterating as long as there is a children i mean as long as j is valid so j is currently the left child of i right you can see that it's the left child of i and then getting the content of the index i in variable temp okay now we need to iterate iterate as long as j is valid that means there is an element at j. So the first thing that we need to do, uh, whether j has a sibling or not, if, if j is valid, then immediately after entering into the loop, we need to check if j has a sibling or not. So if j is less than n, then that means j has a sibling. I explained these things earlier. Now we are doing this again, right? Then we need to check which one of these is higher or larger whether j contains the larger value or the j plus one that means the sibling contains the larger value so if j is the left child's index then obviously the siblings index is j plus one so that's actually heap array j plus one so if uh, j plus one is higher that means if this is true heap array j less than heap array j plus one then j plus one contains the larger number then we should move j to j plus one that means we are moving the index j to the sibling that means to the right child so let me write the comment here compare between j and its sibling if j exist if sibling exist if sibling exist okay now if we have moved j to the sibling or if the j is on the left child whatever it is now we need to compare j with the item that means the number uh, that we are adjusting that we have taken here in this variable item from index i right so now if the item is greater than equals heap array j that means we need to break we have found a position for the item that means the item is the larger than the largest of two siblings then it can be there in j by two that means in the parent it's okay we have found a place for the item then what do you do otherwise if we don't break the loop if we have not found the position for the item we need to move the current content that means at j to its parent so heap array j divided by two that's the parent heap array j so we copy the content of the jth index to the parent that means at j by 2 and this time we need to go to the next layer next level 
and that means to the left child of the current j so j is updated with j two times j j equals two times of j so j goes to the left child of the current element and then we iterate back in the while and we do the same thing as long as there is a valid j we find a uh, left child so we are going to iterate in this while loop now when we come out of the while loop we found a place for the item and that's actually the parent of j that means at j plus 2 we are going to place this item so that's all for this adjust we are done writing the adjust now let me just write the hippify operation it's the easiest one right only a for loop is going to be there we are going to start from i equals n by 2 because from n by 2 plus 1 up to n all are leaps and we just don't need to need to adjust them we need to adjust starting from n by 2 and we need to go up to i greater than equals 1 that means up to the root and each time we are going to reduce i by 1 so in c we can write minus minus i in order to decrement i by 1 and then what we need to do is to call the adjust operation and here we will pass the heap array i'm sorry here we are going to pass the heap array and here we go heap array and then the i is going to be there and then the total number of elements in the heap that's n okay so that's the adjust operation uh, called from within the loop in the hippie operation it's going to build the heap and i have explained all these things earlier right so it's not heap array excuse me it should be array because in this function hippie we have received this array right so we are done writing the hippie operation so it's time to write the heap sort now we are done writing all the supportive functions we only need the adjust operation and the hippify the hippify has to be called at the very beginning from the heap sort in order to build the heap uh, in place in the array so here is the array that is unsorted one and that we need to sort and that contains n elements now let's not forget that n elements resides in the range index 1 to n we are not using index 0 okay we are starting always from index 1 and I have updated all these functions is sorted or all the other functions that is filling the array or printing the array uh, accordingly so that they are going to print the content of the array starting from index 1 up to n. So if we need to sort n elements we need to actually allocate the array uh, for n plus 1 elements so that we can use n elements starting from 1 index 1 up to index n. So if you are, say for example, if you want to sort 20 elements, you would require to allocate 21 elements practically so that you can get, uh, if you are allocating 21 elements, then the valid indices are from 0 to 20. And since we are not using the 0th index, we'll be using uh, index 1 to index 20. So we'll be allocating one more than the required elements. We'll see that in the main function. So here is the heap sort. At the very beginning, we need to call the heapify operation and we are going to pass the array and the total number of elements in the array that's n okay now we need to uh, do the hip sort so we can just write a for loop for that and we need to start from i equals n we need to declare a variable i right so i'm declaring variable i and then we need to go on as long as i is greater than equals 2 and on each occasion we need to reduce i by 1 so here First of all, we need to get the content of the root and that's actually array 1, that's the content of the root and taking that in the variable temp. Okay, let me just declare the variable temp here. And then we need to copy the content of the last element, that's uh, i in this heap. So we are starting from i equals n. So at the very beginning, i is on the last index. Then we'll be deleting one element from the heap and we'll be uh, actually assigning that element that we delete from the heap into the sorted section that is going to be there at the end of the array. So the last element of the heap is always tracked by the index i. So we need to copy the last element of the heap to index 1. I have explained all these things with the visual uh, animation in the last few lectures. If you are still uncomfortable with this implementation, I will strictly recommend you to get back to those lectures and understand this logic first. I have developed this algorithm with the visual descriptions there. So array i equals array, I'm sorry, array i is assigned to array 1. Now we need to adjust the heap. We are calling the 
adjust operation we need to adjust the index one and we need to pass i minus one here because we are reducing one element from the heap uh, because we are taking out the largest element there in the temp right so now finally we need to place that largest number into the index i and that's temp okay and we are done we are done writing the heap sort so first of all we are doing the heapify there and then we are iterating in the loop doing the heap sort okay first of all we are we are getting the largest element from the root and then copying the last element from the heap into the root that's how we delete an element from the heap i have explained that right for a heap it's always the root element that we delete right we cannot delete from any uh, any other place so when we delete the root element we actually take out the content of the root element then we copy the last element into the root and then we adjust the heap because on copying the last element into the root the heap may not be a heap anymore so we need to adjust and for that we have developed that adjust operation okay now adjust the root okay that's all for the implementation now as i said earlier i have taken the sorted function from the previous implementations this is a new fi file it's not the previous one i have discarded all those other sorting implementation from this file just to make it clean with the heap sort only and all these supporting operations are there is sorted input data from console you can see that i have updated this with i equals one so they are all starting their procedure with index one and they are going up to index n and as i said we'll actually take the array size one more than the required so here you can see that it's printing from one it's going up to n so everything is actually doing in that way so the field random data remains same it's going to fill up the array with some randomly generated integers so here is the main method i'll first take say 25 elements and you see that here when i'm allocating the array i'm practically taking n plus one as the number of elements to be allocated so practically we are dealing with 25 elements but the allocation is one more than that 25 that means 26 elements so the valid indices are from 0 to 25 we will be using from 1 to 25 okay so we are filling the data uh, into the array randomly and then i'll just print the content of the array first then here we are calling the heap sort as usual in between the get time of day call so that we can get the elapsed time and then finally we are going to print the sorted array into the console and here we are printing the elapsed time and finally we are freeing the array so let's go ahead and run this for n equals 25 let's see how our heap sort works okay you can see that it's working fine this is the unsorted array and this is the sorted array and it says that sorted in ascending order so we are good with this algorithm implementation okay now i'm going to execute this program for various input sizes for all of these sizes okay and we'll uh, note down the execution time as i did for the other sorting algorithms we are interested for the graph uh, of n versus the time the fn so let me go ahead and execute this for various input sizes i'll start with n equals ten thousand, and here we go you see that for n equals 10,000, it's taking 2.484 milliseconds. So it's 2.484 milliseconds. Now I will do that for 50,000 numbers. I'll go up to 100 million number. Okay, and I'll get back to you once that's done. I'll pause the video meanwhile. Okay, I'm done taking the execution time for these various input sizes. And here are the execution time in milliseconds. So now let me go ahead and plot this for heap sort okay so here is the n versus fn graph for heap sort here we go you see that uh, here when n is a small it's there is a little bend here uh, after that it's almost a straight line right so it's great it's always n log n so it's great to see the performance of 
hip sort it's fantastic it's almost linear when we increase the n up to this hundred million numbers okay so that's how the hip sort works i hope you have understood all the all about the hip sort by now and you have understood the uh, adjust operation and delete operation and the hippify operation i have not implemented the insert operation uh, as such but i hope that you can implement that by your own because we don't need that insert operation for doing the hip sort so i have not implemented that so i'll attach this file with the with the tutorial so that you can get this you can download this and can run this by yourself and it will be good if you can write this by yourself after viewing those previous lectures that's that will be fantastic awesome uh, instead of using my file i'll encourage you to write your own so thank you for watching this in the next tutorial i'm going to implement the hip sort using java programming language thank you